For the past eight years, Akosuya Menu has been using LPG for cooking and other domestic purposes. She switched from charcoal use in 2010 due to the stress that comes with its usage and also its contribution to environmental pollution. The mother of two has since not regretted with her choice. But the recent hikes in prices of the petroleum products is gradually bringing a change in the mindset of the 54-year-old. Since the beginning of the year, the price of LPG has not been stable, making it impossible for her to bear the cost of filling a cylinder to the brim. We're filling a man. We're filling a man. We're filling half. So, we're born into you. Gas is expensive these days, so I'm unable to fill my 14.5 kilogram to the brim. I fill it half and sometimes use charcoal as an alternative to reduce cost. For Betty, switching to charcoal has become necessary due to the high cost of LPG. She has not filled a cylinder for the past three months. If the price of LPG declines, people will not return to the use of charcoal because using gas is easier and faster. At the high cost, is scaring us. Some charcoal sellers are now seeing an increase in patronage. I used to sell a bag of charcoal in a month, but now, within two weeks, it finishes. In January this year, a kilogram of LPG was sold at 8.6 CDs, translating into 124 CDs for the regular 14.5 kg cylinder. By September, same kilogram is selling at 12.4 cities. This means you have to pay at least 180 cities to fill a 14.5 kg cylinder. The constant price increment of LPG has affected consumption of the product. Nanabo said to Collins, is an LPG operator. As we speak now, the, the product uh, the market is still declining, going down every now and then. Although we have put in a new way of uh, selling the product to the consumer by selling uh, any amount, giving out to the, the, custom, the customer any amount they want to buy, we have opened that doors that they can come and buy it from us. We used to have uh, 29, 30,000 metric tons in a month. But for now, uh, we can use about nationwide consumption is around 15,000, 16,000 metric tons. Subsidizing the products, according to him, will come as a relief to consumers. Since we all support the climate change and we want to save our forest for the future, we are still on our knees that the government should subsidize the product or to uh, reduce the, the price for consumers to have their way of using the uh, LPG instead of the uh, charcoal. Energy analyst Professor Francis Kimaso says the switch back to charcoal will come with consequence. You know, uh, once people are coming back to, to charcoal and coming back to firewood, and we are in an era where uh, our forests are, are getting depleted, uh, but then these people will still have to enter places where they will need to, I mean, to have access to, to firewood and to charcoal. Uh, those who are burning the charcoal, um, I mean, the places where they are burning them, uh, those trees are, are getting finished, so they will have to uh, go, I mean, inside um, some forest. That's a, a very likely scenario. And once that happens, yes, it, it would have an, an, an effect on, 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 on our, our biodiversity and then on our forest um, resources as well. Now, even with the current price, consumers are being asked to brace up and pay for more for the same quantity of gas they buy in the coming days. This has given reason 
for more people to switch from gas to the use of charcoal. In 2017, government set up a national goal to ensure that at least half of the population use LPG by 2030. But with the rising cost of the product due to happenings in the international market and also the depreciation of the cities, there are fears that achieving this goal will be a mirage. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.